All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. So it seems that all of us have been misled. Now, I don't have the exact tweet or message where it was said that Call of Duty or Infinity Ward had 3,000 developers working on their game or games, but we know now that it's false. Excuse me, why? How this even came up was because of a reply to a thread about a map editor in Call of Duty. Charlie Intel tweeted, Infinity Ward devs recently stated in an interview with us at Dexerto that they would love to have a map editor in Call of Duty but haven't gotten around to the complexities of it yet. It's tough because the game is, it would take a whole team to constantly keep it up to date and break it off so it stays secure. It's something we would love to do, it's just the complexity of our game and the creation of our game, the fact it's photorealistic, it's not something we've been able to do, balancing that with working on Warzone, working on Modern Warfare, all the in-between, so we don't have any info on that. And realistically speaking, how could they? Not only are they tied up with Warzone, Modern Warfare, and other things in between like they mentioned, Activision forces these development studios to push out a new COD game every single year. There is no break for them. And plus, it's not like people would still be playing the old Call of Duty when a new one comes out. God damn right. <laughs> it's just, it's not possible. There's no possible way that a map editor or forge like map maker like they have in Halo is even going to be plausible in Call of Duty. I don't think it'll ever happen unless they stop the annual cycle. But of course, and sadly most of all, Activision won't do that. They will keep pushing an annual release because it banks them a lot of money and they know the Call of Duty community will keep buying their games and even purchase these ridiculous bundles netting the publisher even more money. It's a never ending greed cycle that they have capitalized on and they know it. The only way, the only way we can force their hand is if we stop buying the games altogether and stop spending money on microtransactions. But anyways, in a response to that tweet, somebody else replied saying, thought y'all had 3,000 devs though. Then Charlie Intel responded by saying, they don't. There's 3,000 people working on Call of Duty. That's marketing, legal, finance, developers, HR, etc. To which somebody else responded saying they have enough money, they should hire more devs, not marketing. <laughs> and I totally agree with him. And then Charlie Intel responded to him by saying, in the current economic situation, I think majority of companies have slowed down hiring, sadly. Okay. Really, Charlie? Really? Do you really think that we are that stupid to believe that they don't have enough money or they're in some sort of economic situation where they don't have the finances. Really? With the surplus that Call of Duty makes, the amount of money and profits that Activision makes, you really think they are in this situation where they don't have the funds? Or they're low on funds? Absolutely not! We're not stupid! Don't sit there and say that Activision doesn't have the funds for that because they definitely do, okay? They profit so much from stupid Call of Duty players who buy these bundles and these games, like $100 games and, you know, different versions of these games in order to make Call of Duty what it is. So, so don't give us that. Yes, sir! This nigga's spitting! Damn, What's also interesting is I wanted to ask this on Google, or actually more specifically, I wanted to ask this to ChatGPT, and I asked the question on whether or not Call of Duty has 3,000 developers, right? And then they said, no, Call of Duty does not have 3,000 developers. The statement you mentioned might be an exaggeration or misinformation. While Call of Duty is a popular video game franchise that requires a significant development team, the actual number of developers involved may vary depending on the specific game and the stage of development. Call of Duty games are typically developed by multiple studios working in collaboration. The primary development studios responsible for the franchise include Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer Games. These studios often rotate in the development cycle, with each one taking the lead on different installments of the series. It's difficult to provide an exact number of developers involved in the production of a Call of Duty game as it can vary greatly. The development team can consist of designers, programmers, artists, sound engineers, quality assurance testers, and various other roles. However, it is unlikely that the total number of developers working on a single Call of Duty game would reach as high as 3,000. 
Keep in mind that the size of development teams can change over time and knowledge is based upon information available up until September 2021. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, it's best to refer to official sources or statements from the game's publishers or development studios. But of course, and sadly most of all, Activision won't do that. They will keep pushing an annual release because it banks them a lot of money and they know the Call of Duty community will keep buying their games and even purchase these ridiculous bundles netting the publisher even more money. It's a never ending greed cycle that they have capitalized on. The only way that we can force their hand is if we stop buying the games and stop spending money on microtransactions. In order for these games to actually thrive and do well, we would need more developers and less focus on marketing and most important, stop rushing these games out. Give the developers more time to make better games Put in more effort so that the focus isn't so much on these bundles and microtransactions, but rather the core multiplayer. Then, and then only, can you have map editors or these modes like Forge, but without all of these changes, ain't no way we are going to see real change. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree that we really do need more developers and need to get rid of the annual COD cycle? Let me know. Also, I'm trying to grow this channel, and if you enjoy classic commentaries like this, then please consider subscribing because I'm trying to grow, trying to get to 5,000, and I'm trying my best to push out as many of these videos as I can. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Now, with that being said, this is GCP signing off.